Hello Libra, welcome to your October 2020 love reading. This is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please do note that this is a general message for the collective. So it may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. If you are looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading for me. You can find that information and all other relative information in the detail box down below this video. Feel free to check your other planetary placements for additional messages or if this reading isn't for you. It all depends on the planetary placements on which sign of yours is your strongest and where your messages will be. If you don't know what that is, down below this video in that description box is a natal calculator link that will take you to a website where you can find that out for free. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. I'm going to pull um, two oracle cards, one from the goddess deck and one from the romance angels and then we're going to get into the tarot all right spirit team let's take a look at libra sun moon rising venus for october 2020 most important messages guidance advice coming through for my beautiful libras at this time the area of love and romance all right one message please most important message for the collective Thank you. All right, so we're getting butterfly maiden transformation. You are experiencing enormous changes right now, which bring great blessings. So if you're in a connection, um, you will see a transformation between you and your partner, like a leveling up, things coming together. Um, if you are a Libra single, you could see, you know, so you're going through some transformations that's going to bring those blessings and love into your life. If you are interested in an ex, you may see things starting to change in the dynamic between you. All right, beautiful. All right, spirit team, what do we have for my beautiful Libras? We're okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Beautiful. Well, I kind of like that positivity. Let's go ahead and check into the tarot and see what's going on for my beautiful, beautiful Libras for October 2020. Please pass present future energy and share energy between Libra and the person that they're most connecting with at their heart space. Those important messages, guidance, advice coming through for Libra at this time. Please show me clearly and precisely. Thank you, Spirit Team. Hmm. All right, past energy for you. You're coming through with the Seven of Wands. Your person is getting the Magician. Shared energy between you is the Eight of Wands. Current energy, you're coming through with the Nine of Cups. Your person is coming through with the Knight of Wands. Shared energy between you is the Four of Swords. Future energy, you're coming through with the sun. They are coming through with the world. The eight of cups is the shared energy between you. Overall energy is the two of swords at a crossroads. Not able to make a decision. Needing to make a decision and the queen of wands. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. A Leo, a Sagittarius, and Aries don't have to be, but could be. All right, so in the past, what I'm seeing here between you as um, there was a bit of defensive energy. There may be some obstacles that are in your way on your side, Libra, that you were trying to overcome, trying to defend off. You may have been in conflict with several people and your person, they're coming through as the magician. Now for me as a reader, that is Aries and Taurus, sometimes Aquarius, but mainly for me, it's Aries or Taurus. So if you're if you are in connection with or your person is one of those signs take that as a synchronicity but it does not have to be that sign the shared energy between you was communication and forward movement there was either a need for communication or there was a need or there was communication about moving on moving forward um we are currently in the nine of cups which tells me that you are well supported you are feeling pretty good about yourself you got you got that self-love, self-esteem, you know, filling those cups up with your own love, wishes being granted, or has a possibility of being granted here. Uh, your person is coming through with a knight of swords, which means they could be taking some passionate action. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
And the shared energy between you is the Four of Swords. I feel like you guys are in a little bit of a time out, a resting period, or the both of you are working together to heal this connection. What is beautiful is the future energy coming in, the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot. This is about that happiness, that spontaneity. So you're feeling very happy and well supported within the universe here with the sun. Your person has the world, which tells me that they have completed a very hard cycle and they're ready for new beginnings. And I feel like that both of you are. With this eight of cups, I feel like this is not so much symbolic for, for walking away from each other. It's the both of you walking away from, some, from an energy, a situation, a way of being, acting, thinking that's no longer serving your highest good. So let's get some clarifications on these and see what else we can find out. All right, Spirit Team, please clarify the Seven of Wands for my Libra in the past position, please. What is the Seven of Wands energy, please? Show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. Okay, so we're getting the moon, Pisces energy. Um, what I feel is like you were trying to overcome some fears, some disillusions, things that were, you know, holding you back from your past here. You been, could have been in conflict with someone from your past, possibly a earth sign, a, Li, uh, a Libra. Yeah, you are Libra. A Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo. This could also have to do with your stability. Some, maybe a father figure for some of you. There was a lot of fears regarding your, you know, your childhood um, or a father-like figure. And you were trying to overcome those obstacles because they were kind of getting in your way. Or you were looking for stability and you were kind of wondering... And fighting for it. All right. So what is this magician in the past position, please? Show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. All right. So your person was trying to, to manifest communication. With this page of swords to see if, for clarity um i feel like they may have been blocking them because of past fears for a lot of you there was a need for the spiritual wisdom for taking a time out or this person could have withdrawn from the situation but there's definitely need for healing sagittarian energy with that what is this eight Ooh. hello we're not going to take those nope what is this eight of wands energy for Libra, please show me clearly and precisely. What is this Eight of Wands energy, please? Okay. okay there was definitely love here. There was the attention on working on this. Um, there was a possibility for a new opportunity or there was an opportunity that it was opened up. There was communication between you, but I feel like at the end of the day, this just didn't come together. There was definitely love here. Or if it came together, there was just still a lot of independence being asserted here between the two of you. Like each individually keeping your own separate identities, doing your own thing, really maybe focused a lot on work than on the relationship, but there was definitely love here. All right, what is this Nine of Cups energy? Present energy for my beautiful Libras. Show me clearly and precisely. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, you're ready. You're feeling you've, you've got, you found your value, you found your strength you've gotten clarity on what you want in a, in a stable partnership you're ready for that beautiful blessing of love what is the knight of wands here okay your person's coming through with a two of swords so i feel like they're the hold up in the current situation they're wanting to take passionate action or could be a sagittarius yeah they have a decision that they're putting off making. They're at a hangman position. There's something that, yeah, they're, they're holding something back. 
I feel like it's how they truly feel. They want to take a leap of faith with this partnership. But there's something that's holding them back. They're like, like they're right on that cusp of taking that step, moving forward. They want to come in. But something is something is holding them back here. What is this four of swords energy? There's that full. So what I'm seeing here, Libra, is that you guys have gotten together. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion and emotional overwhelm, and I feel like this is for this person. Um, the, the tower is coming in, and I feel like, again, this is for this person. I feel like you're good. I feel like you're 100% solid. You know your worth. You know your value. You know what you want in a long-term commitment. You're ready for you're ready for it all. You're ready for our engagement, marriage, the whole, or just stability, long-term stability. You're ready for it to offer that cup, or you may have offered that cup to them, but there is something that is holding them back. I do see the tower here and the fool. So this there is a new beginning on its way. If this person this person is got to make a decision, or spirits coming in to make this decision for them. You both want to have another chance at this to take a, that leap of faith. So let's go ahead and see what the sun is. You know, this is a card of transformation. The nine of cups. You are feeling great. Like you are getting wish fulfillment here. Absolutely getting wish fulfillment. Yeah, Sagittarian energy with that temperance. You've healed from the inside out. You've connected to your higher divinity. The divine is bringing you those cups. New beginnings, the queen of wands. Passion, fire. Oof, all right. What is this world card? Queen of swords. Okay, so they know that you are their entire world. They, they're realizing it. I think that tower is helping them see that. Yeah. Okay. One more, please. Yeah, there we go. So where they've been emotionally hung up and confused, that's coming to an end. They are realizing, like they are realizing exactly how much you mean to them here. They know that you are their 10 of cups, you're their love, you're their happiness, that beautiful family, that future, that romantic. And I do see them coming forward with an offer because they're realizing they messed up here. What is this Eight of Cups? Now, if you're in partnership, this person's realizing your value of your relationship, realizing the value of you, Libra. If you guys are going through a hard time, just note that this person is going to be really getting that wake-up call. What is that Eight of Cups? Shared energy between. Okay. Yeah. So where things were in, like where where things were not moving, where things were kind of at odds with each other, where somebody may have been cold and distant, um, not really working within the relationship, where you've not been seeing growth and expansion, that is what's being walked away from. You're gonna only put in effort and work into a relationship that's going to move forward. Where I love this card. Look, yeah, and reconciliation, good news, happiness, celebration. This is about a, a, a mm, this is about aligning those opposing forces. So where you guys have been at odds with each other, whatever that will mean for each of you, will be different. You're bringing it together for the common good of the relationship, for the partnership. I see you entering into. Something that is going to grow. It's going to take time, but it's going to grow. Because you're going to kind of move into with this with truth and integrity. Someone's been holding back secrets. All that's going to change. Like, all that's going to be exposed. All right. Very beautiful reading, Libra. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the Kassarian Soul family. Otherwise, if this did not resonate with you, that's okay. Check those other placements or wait for 
my individual readings. I have a singles reading coming up. I've got a couples reading coming up and I'm doing an uh, your ex reading coming up. So if that may resonate better. All right, guys, remember to take to live in light and love. Take care of yourself. See you guys next time. Bye for now.